What's up guys? If you wanna learn how to light an interview with one light, then this is the video for you. The first step to lighting your interview before we even put up any lights is figuring out, okay, what is our frame gonna look like? Something that I typically like to do is look for windows. What kind of windows do we have in the room? That can provide us some really nice natural light and it also can provide us some motivation for our lights. The other thing I like to do is shoot in the corners of the room. That gives you a little bit more depth in the shot and makes it a little more cinematic. So in this space right here, we got windows right here, big wall of windows, so we're probably gonna, gonna wanna use those to our advantage. And this right here is looking like a pretty nice frame. We've got some nice leading lines. We got the corner of the room right here. We got the corner here. We can shoot into the opposite corner, use those windows, and give us a, little, a nice little bit of depth in the shot. So this is probably gonna be our frame right here. Now that we've got our angle decided, I'll go ahead and set up our cameras. We'll be shooting with two cameras today. First we'll be shooting on the, I'm actually gonna have the a7 IV over here, and then I'm gonna have the FX3, which we're shooting on right here, as our A cam. For our A cam, we're gonna have the 35 millimeter, it's the Sony 35 millimeter F1.4 on the body. And then for the B cam, we're gonna have the Sony 24 to 70 F2.8 on the body to get a tighter shot with the B cam and a wider shot with the A cam. First thing that you wanna do when you walk into a space is take a look, see if there's any overhead lighting. Unless I'm gonna use that overhead lighting for the scene, I turn off the overhead lights. A lot of times your overhead lighting, typically in office spaces, is gonna be like nasty fluorescent lighting and you want to be able to control all the lighting. You wanna be able to use that nice clear lighting from your own light sources. So the first thing we're gonna do is turn off the overhead lights. Before we move to the next section, I wanted to let you know that the best next step that you can take if you're looking to turn your videography business into a six-figure income and full-time career is to get a free copy of my book where I teach you all the strategies to make it happen. Just click the first link in the description below to get a free copy of the book. That's right, it is completely free for you just for watching this video. With that, let's move to the next step. Now that we've got the overhead lights off, what we need to do next is expose for the natural lighting in the space. We've got all these windows right here, so we're gonna wanna stop down the lighting so that those windows aren't overexposed and it looks nice and flattering in the background of the image. What we're gonna use for that are some ND filters. So this is what the shot looks like without any ND filter over top of it. You can see that the windows are overexposed right here. So we wanna knock that down with an ND filter so it's nice and evenly exposed. So we'll screw our variable ND on there and adjust it just so that it's evenly exposed. Now we've got good exposure on the windows right here. Pro tip, never forget to clean off your ND filters. The worst thing that you can have, happen, well maybe not the worst thing, but you never want to get in editing and then you see, oh there are dust specks all over the frame because I didn't clean off my ND filter. So just get one of these guys, these little air guns, and then just blow them off, give them a quick wipe down with a cloth if you need to before you put them on. We've got our framing set up, we've exposed for the windows here, the outside light. Our key light is going to be the light that illuminates our subject. So this is going to be the most important light to the shot here. So for our key light today, I'm going to be setting up the Godox VL3. 300 on this uh, stand right here and then we're going to be putting a big soft box on it big old soft box i'll show you guys what that looks like this soft box total hack i'll try to find the link for you guys it is the easiest thing to set up and it's massive so it provides really nice soft flattering light this is the godox vl 300 this is what we're going to be using as our key light so the vl 300 puts off quite a bit of light which is great i also have an aperture 120d but I find that it doesn't really put off, while I do kind of like the light a little bit, it's a little bit cleaner in the Aperture 120D, it doesn't put off enough light. This is the soft box that we'll be using to diffuse our key light right here. I bought it off of eBay. I found it a couple years back. I can't remember how I found it. Right here is a mechanism. You just push this thing down and it locks. It makes it incredibly easy and fast to set up, which is nice on shoot days when you're in a time crunch and you're just trying to get things set up. Just gonna dive in there real quick. This is a Bowens mount right here, which is nice because it's a pretty standard mount. So it attaches to a lot of different lights. The softbox will work on my Godox VL300, but it'll also work on my Aperture 120D and most other lights. Here is our key light right here. This is the most important light in our setup. We got the VL300 pumping light through this right here. We're at 68% on the lighting here and we're still able to get enough light to be able to balance out the 
light coming through the windows, which is perfect. So this is where our subject sit in the hot seat right here. For the light source, we've got it at a 45 degree angle from the subject right here. So off 45 degrees, that way we get nice fall off on the opposite side of the face, shadow fall off. So we get something called Rembrandt lighting, which provides a nice little triangle of light on the shadow side of the face. I'll show you visually what that looks like here in a second with some cool graphic that we'll do on camera. Okay, so we've got our one light right here. Now, we have this lamp right here. So we're just gonna use this to our advantage. So we're gonna turn that on right there and then we're gonna take a look at our framing back here and try to just squeeze that into the background of the shot just to give a nice little bit of life to the background here. So now you can see right over here, we've got that light in the background right there. It just gives us a little splash of light in the background. Looks really nice. We've got our camera set up with our framing that we want here. We've got our key light set up right here for our interviewee. We've got the boom mic over top, mic'd up to capture some nice clean audio. Here is what the final product looks like. Hi, I'm a really important businessman. Talking about really important business things. Order now and you'll get this special discount of 200% off of our product. That's right, we'll pay you to purchase our product. Really? There it is, there's all the tips to lighting an interview with one light. I hope you found value in this video. If you did, please click the like button below and if you want more videography tutorials in the future, then click subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.